I'm just gonna collect this like so. But I don't think we're gonna be using this area, so... Not sure why I'm clearing this out. Alright, let's check on our smelters here. Hey, this is all backed up. Like, what's going on here? Oh, it's because of this production. Double check this. Like, you got plenty of screws. It's the iron rods that are a problem. We need to address that. So, let's check this out. Yeah, this is all backed up. This, you're just not producing enough iron rods, it looks like. So, let's address that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's add blueprint here. Uh, four constructors. This is the... This is the input. Uh, we need the blueprint mode. Now, my blueprints overlap like this. Alright, so connect these here, connect these here. Okay, so it's also, might as well just, uh, it was cast screws, I believe? Probably should double check this. What was I building here? Oh, no, it's iron rods. That was cast screws. Okay, iron rods. So let's change this up. And then we'll connect the stuff to these things. Yeah, blueprints are basically a game changer. And it still needs improvement, but this is awesome, I would say. I think we need to get rid of this. Actually, we need to change these back to the mergers and splitters. Basically... On emerging... Or, I want a splitting like this. This needs to be a little bit closer, like so. Of course, I also need to change the... conveyors in the blueprints to MK5s, but... I should, probably should do that now, shouldn't I? Splitter goes this way. Yeah, there we go. Also need to get rid of... Well, why don't I just throw these away? Okay, now we need to merge it onto these lines. Oh, look at that. It is... locking into place when I press control this time. This goes here. This goes here. There we go. 
extra iron rods. As a result, probably should upgrade these now. And there we go. So that's all jammed up. Not this. What's going on here? Uh, seems like an appropriate time to start overclocking this. Because we are going to need the resources, aren't we? The biggest bottleneck are these iron rods, so I do need to make sure we're producing enough. Though it does kind of suck that I'm using this on these impure nodes, but that's what's available in this general area. So you're getting lots. I have 90, 180. Oh shit. Yeah, 90 parts. 45 per minute. Yeah, it doesn't really support all of these. So, okay, let's add another shard. I think it go faster. Or you know what? Maybe I can like transfer some extra resources over here. Like if this is blocked off. It might be wise to like take advantage of this output. Yeah, like sending it over here. But we are getting more iron rods now, so I uh, don't know. That's a case. Let's overclock it just a little bit more just in case. Because we, at the end of the day, we do need more rotor production. We're really starved on that. And I am burning through a lot of these power shards. Like, this is still good. We're just not producing enough screws at this point, but I only have like four power shards left. So. Yeah, we might be running into a problem with this soon. So... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need to overclock maybe one of these machines at the very least. Actually, we are. Overclocking this. Okay, let's overclock three more machines. And then that should be good enough for now. Like, I'm not really doing the math on this. I'm just going by feel. Like, it feels like we need more screws. And these numbers are going down, so... Yeah, definitely need more screws. So I overclocked two more machines. Should be getting some extra production there. Now I do need to work on this area over here. 
Like, these are the first machines that we built. So... I need to make sure that... We're producing as much as possible. Okay, so we do have the resources for that. Let's turn all of these miners into MK2s first. Okay, get rid of these flower petals. Oh, it's in the equipment thing. Let's fill up the inventory first. And then there's like two down here. Swap these out. And then we need to redesign that area. I don't really like uh, redesigning areas, but this is simple enough that I'm willing to do it. Like I already have foundations here. Let's just get more foundations up and running. And I think it would be more appropriate to use... How do I switch? It's E. At four meters. All right, let's just... Okay, put away all this stuff. We don't need that. And... This miner as well. Oh, also should double check our power, like where we are. Still at 13%. It's not going down, so our biomass burners are still good. Need to clear you out, nuts. Let me just grab these. Like, I'm hearing the spiders down below. Meters appropriate. Okay, we have to make him eight meters after all. All right, time to get rid of these things. Let's just put these away for the time being. Get rid of these. So we're basically taking out this entire area. It did serve me well, but I need this area for better things. But I think this entire area is powered by this line over here. So, you know what? Never mind, it's actually... Wait, does this show up on the map? Like, power connections. Can I see this on the map? Oh, these are landmarks. Uh, other crate, crate, crate. 
Okay, there's some crates over here. Need to deal with that. Show stamps on the map. Like, I thought there was, like, a way to see power lines on the map. Like, I could have sworn there was, but... If not, then whatever. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I need to spend time on this. Yeah, these are still powered because of this area there. mess with this line just yet. They'll stay in place. So what I'm gonna do... Zoop. Through here. Uh, I think we're gonna have to rotate this. If we're rotating these things, might as well just might as well just rework it. Okay, MK2, you get to go this way, and you get to go this way. Overlapping this storage here, but basically what I want to do Put this here Put that here, put that here There we go we Just need to expand this production area now And we need concrete. Well, it's a good thing we have this production area over here for concrete. Wait, why are these lights blue? It's like, I thought they were supposed to be green or something. Anyway. Get more of these. Probably should have a way to like get up there from this area. There we go. Nice. All right. Well, we tell this is very exhausting work, basically doing something that I've already done before. But we need to do this. that there, put this here, his here. Let's make it up all the way over here.
All right, next for smelters for iron ingots. Missing steel. Oh, that's right. I need to change our blueprints. Uh, where's the thing? Blueprint designer. I need steel beam. Nice. Didn't I, didn't I like put him over here? In this container that's like embedded in the ramp? Yes, I did. Let's give me back all my steel beams. Uh, let's get rid of, let's get rid of the ore. We don't need it anymore. All right, blueprint designer. All right, load up the blueprint. Let's start upgrading everything. Yeah, that's everything. They're all MK4s now. Save blueprint. So, wait. What's with three steel beams? Like, I didn't upgrade something here. Like, I need to deal with that. I think that's it. Yep. Alright, so there's no steel beams here. But, uh, same thing with the copper ingots. They're like a feature that allows me to upgrade to the latest thing. Like an auto upgrade conveyor belts or something. Because that would be really useful to have. Well, I guess this is like the first iteration of blueprints, so I'll just suck it up. But that would be like a really useful feature to have. Just being able to automatically set to whatever your latest uh, MK whatever a conveyor belt you have. Or maybe have it as like a drop down menu so you can pick like MK1s if you absolutely needed to. A blueprint saved. And we'll do the same thing with constructors. Don't have the resources. Oh, come on. All right. So we need to load this with reinforced iron plates. Which I have plenty of right here. Reinforced iron plates. Constructors. And that should be all of it. Yeah. Alright, let's clean this up. We have everything we need now. Let's go ahead and put these down. So, smelters first. And this is the, this is the output side. This is input. Or need you to line these corners with the other corner of the blueprint. I need to go too far. I don't know why I did that crouch jump there. Don't need to go very far. All right, so we got 16 smelters now. What I'm going to do is bring this line, but first, I need splitter.
And then this line can like go... Goes in here. Goes in here. Perfect. Okay. Three and this over here. All of these are now powered up or not. They connect this to like power from over. Hey, power from over here. All right, these are now being converted. Okay, so... What I need to do is, like, put this, like, right over here. Uh, we're gonna be switching this around anyway, so I'm gonna be- end up depowering this. Better yet. Wait, I didn't take that out? Or did- did those rocks respawn or something? What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Why did you respawn? I don't know why, but anyway, let's do this. change it so that our power is like going through here then we'll go then we'll do that harvest so then we can take out power lines over here And we're eventually going to replace that area as well. But there's not much space to work with, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, maybe I'll just have to make space. Let's get rid of these rocks. All right. Just fill this in as well. Okay, so now we should have sufficient room. This is going to be our... Uh, what's his face? The iron plates here. This is the input. Where's the output of this? It's right here. So I want to try to align this up if I can. And... Okay, that's the output. I'm gonna rotate this like so. I probably should just add a little bit of distance there. 